Hey, y'all, it's me, my adorable, here with Fire Emblem Three Houses for the first time. Not for the first time for me, though. Of course, I've got, ah, yes, 490 hours in the game. I've played it through several times. And if you have seen my, uh, my, any of my Path of Radiance playthrough, you will know that I have mentioned that I'm, I'm a decently large Fire Emblem fan. I don't want to say, I don't like saying I'm a big fan of many things because it always prompts the wrath of those. Regardless, I played this game through on all four of the main story routes. I've not yet done the DLC, even after 490 hours, because I like to I like to get the, 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 the good stuff out of the base game before moving on to the DLC. That's just how I am. I should note, going forth, that since I have played all the routes, this will not be a spoiler-free route. Not because I intend to be talking lots about spoilers, just because I know it'll happen eventually. I mean, I will probably intentionally talk about some of them. Anyways, <laughs> not this is not spoiler-free. There will be spoilers for all the runs, except for the DLC, because I haven't done it. I don't know. And so part of the reason I'm doing this playthrough is because the very first playthrough I did, I chose Blue Lions, and I'm currently wearing my Blue Lions shirt. My Fargus shirt. But when I played that through, that was that was before certain updates added the difficulty maddening. So that was that one the, the hardest one that to do was hard, which is is not tremendously hard. It's it's more like it feels like it, it feels to me like the, the difficulty should have been called easy normal hard because that's that's sort of how it feels to me it feels like hard is, is like a very normal challenge level like I, I it was like you know, as long as I put thought to it there were no problems ever I didn't die at all and then maddening was hard and I died a lot <laughs> and it was fair enough either way so I did uh Azure Moon and I uh romanced Annette and then I did Verdant Wind and I romanced so this does it tell you anywhere no I, I guess not but I'm pretty sure that's what happened then I did Crimson Flower romanced Bernadetta and then I did Silver Snow and Romance Mercedes. So this time we're doing Azure Moon again, but on Maddening so I can finally get this off my plate. Uh, but I'm not, the, th the thing is, this is gonna be harder than my other runs too, because when I did my other Maddening runs, I did them with New Game Plus uh, from the first hard mode thing I did. So this will be the first time of me ever personally doing a raw Maddening run, so to speak. As in to say not, um, not New Game Plus. Th that'll be a new experience for me personally. And I spent a long time thinking about who we were going to romance, and then I realized that doing Blue Lions, this is a one-in-a-lifetime opportunity, once-in-a-lifetime opportunity, to romance to do, obviously. So, that's what we're doing. But first, we have to watch this very crucial story cutscene. Things are intense! I don't know what's happening here, but it's... it's... it's kicking off. It was a joke. I obviously know what's happening here, because I've played the game, but... <laughs> I mean, people are... people are getting stabbed. Seems like someone didn't think something through. That's all I mean to say. And a, a bunch of people just got set on fire. That could be construed as a problem. And now there's an old dude in the middle of the ring of fire, which is probably bad. Yeah, we should all charge towards this guy who just killed like 50 people. With one swing. This is all a bit Lord of the Rings. Oh man, she didn't even flinch. She just knew that there was a knight coming. Did the person who was dying just say Lady Saros? Blah! Lady Saros! <laughs> oh man. These two are pissed at each other right now. And the light came out just in time so they could probably see how pissed the other one was. They didn't have to guess anymore. But I mean, they probably could have guessed. Alright, now she's gonna draw arms after like the 30 of people who were surrounding her just got wrecked. Man, she's got like a- like platforms too. I mean, I know it's been said already many times about many fictional characters, but like, holy crap, well done for fighting in those. Yeah! Oh, does he, did he lose his sword? Oh no, he's using... Oh, no, he's still got it. Oh, the epic sword clash. Did he just smile? <laughs> you know you're about to lose, right? She's got platforms. You can't fight someone with platforms. Urk! Uh, scrape a bit off the, the belt there, the clasp. That's gotta, that's gotta, that's gotta hurt. If it was an inch closer, that would be... No more eating for you. I love this. She, she throws his sword away and just comes up and punches him in the face. <laughs> Mar martial Arts S+. Plus. Tell me, Nemesis, do you recall the Red Canyon? I highly doubt he could forget. Die! Die! He died. everything that I loved! It wasn't cool, to be fair, guy. You do deserve the three stabs that you just got. Or how many was it? At least two. <laughs> Yay! Good job, Lady Saros! You sure stabbed the hell out of that guy. 
Man, did his blood fly all the way onto his sword, or is that her blood? <laughs> He's gone now, mother. Mm hmm. I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but, um. <laughs> that's not your mother, that's your mother's spine. Man, a lot of things sure happened very quickly in that last two seconds there. I'm sure I was supposed to understand some of it. And this is God, the little bisexual gremlin woman who li lives in my brain. Hello. Wake up! I want to play the game! <laughs> oh my. Indeed. What could have brought you here? I, I just fell asleep. I wasn't really trying to get here, exactly. Napping, as usual. To interrupt a moment of repose. <sighs> Very rude indeed. Imagine how I feel. I was just going to sleep, and here you are chattering at me. I wish to have a look at you. Very well. Here. Ah, and we have to play if we're, uh, the do. Obviously, if we're romancing to do, we're gonna be this one because uh, for whatever reason. Hmm, I well, I guess his. The supports with Byleth aren't super romantic oh, anyway. prior to the ro the the marriage one, so I guess it, it doesn't really need to be that that one is a bi romance. Not that it's I mean, I feel like they all could have been easily, <laughs> like programming wise, it would not have been hard to do or anything. Who am I? Uh, I'm I'm immortal. I see. Not immortal. Uh, mortal. Go on. Sort of. They tell me my name's Wyleth, but that's just what the, the magical floating keyboard in front of me I says. I shall not ever grow accustomed to the sound of human names. All right, yours is much normaler. As well. Beneath which moon and on what day were you born to this world? Well, funny you should ask. The same day that the game came out. That's true. That's my actual well, birthday. <laughs> never cease. It seems we share our day of birth. How strange. You just mean the release date of the game. Hmm. That's not a weird so thing to share. Familiar. I think it may be time for yet another nap. I'm sort of starting to feel like you always think that. It is almost time to begin. Begin what? The for warging of, waging a war with children in our midst? Hey, time to wake up. All right, Dad, fine. Are you having that dream again? Yes, I was. The kid you on the throne. You described her to me before. I don't think I've ever met anyone like that. That's because you didn't pay attention to church. Just put that out of your mind for now battlefield is no place for idle thoughts. No, it's about thoughts that are about tiles. For mercenaries like us. Letting your mind wander is a sure way to get your killed. Fair enough. Sorry, Dad. I won't happen okay. again. Time to get moving. Our next job is in the kingdom. Ooh, a Fargus? I told you before. It's far from here, so we'll need to leave at dawn. Great. Uh, how far from here? Of course. Hmm? Oh, good grief. Everyone is already waiting for us outside. Well, Charles, why didn't you sorry, wake me up earlier? Sorry to barge in, but your presence is needed. What's happened? What's going on? What could you possibly need Please, him for? He's just a good mercenary. We wouldn't bother you with the situation not dying. That's all right. A bunch of kids like you wanted this out. I mean, I can't speak for boss man over here, but that's fine with me, <laughs> Dimitri. We're being pursued by a group of bandits. I can only hope that you will be so kind as to lend your support. Well, we will do what we can. It's true. They attacked us while we were at rest in our camp. And what were you doing by yourselves in a camp? We're outnumbered. Ah, you were separated. Lives. Not to mention our gold. I'm impressed you're staying so calm considering the situation. Yeah, I was about to say. <laughs> most people under robberies. What about it? I'm just joking. I know what about it. He knows where it's from. A lot of them, you say. Yeah, they'll just wreck it if we leave. I'm ready enough. Vague nod. Now, I have never lost this beginning mission before. I've, if this is before you get any divine pulses, so in the- Ooh, what file are we gonna use for this? I guess let's use one of the ones in, like, the way down here. Let's use file 17, sure. Also, just side note, after this I was thinking of doing an assassins only, um, uh, Verdant Wind, uh, <laughs> run, which would be pretty fun. Skirmish of Dawn, alright. And look who it is! Oh, he wasn't gonna speak. I thought Costas was about to say Let's something. Let's <laughs> take care of those thieves before they overrun the village. Sure thing. Take down the enemies in front first. That should take the wind out of their sails. If you say so. All right. Now I have some very specific ideas about what I wanted, how I want to class everyone in my uh, in my party. And since I'm going to be doing uh, uh, Azure Moon, as in Dimitri's place, I'm gonna give everyone stuff to Dimitri here. <laughs> 
uh, because I want Dimitri to be a sniper by the end of this game. It's a very normal class progression. I have no idea what anyone is talking about. All right, so Dimitri, my boy, has good strength, and I think his dex is, is pretty decent. It's not our greatest server three. It's, it's, I'm actually, it's not far behind Claude's. It's Edelgard who's got the Whis, because she's uh, the Whis. The worst, because she's full power. She's, so she's stronger than him, but she have better defense, too. Ooh, no, he tanky. Anyway, so as I was saying, I've never lost this mission before, but this is before you get any Divine Pulses, so the stakes are high. If any of one dies, it's game over, as I understand. So we don't want that. And it hasn't happened to me yet, so I hope it doesn't happen to me now that I'm recording. And it's and it's not even like because I was doing New Game Plus, this would have been easier, because none of the stuff that helps you from New Game Plus would even, you would even have it yet. So this is as difficult as any other time I've done this on Maddening. So if I screwed up now, it's just because of nerves, and that'll be very frustrating. But it's fine. Because, oh, there's this rubble here. Wait, what is it? Why is it that I can only walk four spaces? Oh, because of my class. Uh, okay, so I want Dimitri to get experience in bows because I want him to be a sniper, but I also want him to not die. So let's start with doing some damage on this person ourselves. My, my crest activated, which didn't really help because I wasn't w wounded at all anyways. Uh, and so now that they're weakened, I'll have Dimitri come in and talk to me? Sure. Let's chat. We are in your debt. No problem. It wouldn't do for us to fall in a place like this. Oh, don't worry. You'll die in many other places after <laughs> in, in this run, I'm sure, Dimitri. Please, By no one's fault but my own. Let's work together to drive out these thieves. Sure thing. I should note that I, um, I, I like this game a lot. I should just throw that out there. Um, I understand a lot of people have problems with the, the writing and, and some of the story beats. And believe me, I do as well. I will prevent Although I do, but I do, I do care for this game quite a bit. <laughs> it means a lot to me. You it's also just cool that it came out on my birthday. You. You Thank you. So show me what you can do. I just did. I stabbed a dude. It was pretty wicked. All right. We'll advance while protecting ourselves from the enemy. We sure will. Position inside the forest. Roger that, Papa. I'll be there uh, pr promptly. All right, I want uh, mostly to... Oh, right. You, can you give that stuff to Dimitri <laughs> while you're at it? Actually, maybe you give the axe to me, because I was planning on making Bile of the Wyvern Lord in this run, so I could get started on ax um, axing. You guys can just sort of chill over there. <laughs> and I might just make Claude dash over here into a corner. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Sweet. It's not that I don't love you both, guys. Edelgard and Claude, that is. I just, I need to get my boy the XP. All right, I, I, I took a bit of a hit there, but I'll be all right. Um, <laughs> if I wait around, Gerald will come up and start wrecking them. I, so I don't, I don't want to rush into this if I'm going to get uh, wrecked. All right, so I already have prowess and swords and a little bit in martial arts. Um, not that I'm allowed to fist fight because I'm not that class, but not much in axes. So if I tried to hit with it, it even got, got, it's like, got, like, it's got less accuracy already by 20. And then I won't have the hit plus six, so I'll be 26 less accurate to hit. So I'll be like, I have like a 79% chance to hit, which is to say nothing of their dodge, which is going to be decent anyways because they're uh, rogues. Yeah, 20. So I'll have like a 50% chance to hit with the axe, so I'm not going to probably do that. I'll probably keep going with Dimitri and his bow. Uh, but let's just start moving up towards the woods here. And I may as well just eat the vulnerary because I've got tons. Um, just just to, to absolutely zero risk here because the stakes are extremely high if you even die once. Okay, they're waiting for me. Who has more defense, me or Dimitri? It's... Dimitri, my boy. He can't close parry with the um, uh, bow, so I'll just give him the lance for this bit. Yes. Thanks for that, Gerald. Sorry, I didn't mean to skip your dialogue. It was an accident, force of habit. And I'm, I'm, I'm gonna have to also ask you to, to dash over there in the corner just for uh, insurance. Insurance of you're not death. Let's move it along here. Oh man, it's all right. I forgot the setting because it's a new game. The settings are bad here. Oh, I probably would have been faster than Dimitri there, so I probably wouldn't have gotten double hit. But it's fine. It's over now. It's it, what's done is done. All right, so Gerald didn't move to move up there. The combat arts I taught you. I'll do what I can. I already used one. I need to change the options because they run much too slow for me. Fast, please. Let's turn down the sound effects and stuff a little. Usually is what I do. All right, that works. All right, now what have I got myself into? Okay, so uh, Dimitri doesn't have, he's only got a Lance Combat Art. So, okay, so, I mean, we'll be able to tank one or two hits from these guys. They don't even have a crit chance, so it's fine. Uh, I'll have Dimitri try and take this one out with the bow. 70% chance, so it's not great, but just to get him that, that, <laughs> is that all? Uh, little little uh, bounce up here, and I'll see what I can do with this axe. So, if trying to hit it would be 59% chance, that's awful. Let's just do the combat art here while we're in the woods when they can barely hit us. Ow! And now the this can they both go after Dimitri? Nah, just oh no, they can. Um, so that'd be five, five, and eight. So that's a total of 18. So he, I should have that that will hurt him. <laughs> I could also put her here to try and lure one of them, but that's dumb. He'll survive anyways. There's no crit chance. Oh, five. Five. Wait a minute. Uh, what says how easily you avoid crits in this game? Maybe it's just luck. Either way, I'm pretty sure they they all had crit chances of zero before. So as long as I don't crit here, that's that's fine. And if they crit here, then I'm an idiot. He also can't retaliate because of the bow. So that's unfortunate. But no, oh, they're going. This one's going after me. 
Well, nice miss. Attack when an ally is nearby, and the enemy will be intimidated, making them easier to hit. Thank you. Linked attacks. I got it. <laughs> uh, okay, so in theory now, I could uh, have Dimitri try and shoot one of them and then go after the other one with my sword. But if Dimitri misses, then that guarantees that one of them will have a chance to hit him. So Use instead, I'm just going to have him heal. Use caution. I will do that. And then I will take down this axe person by myself. And I just gave him the, uh, um, the lance so that he can retaliate against this person. Get a bit of XP here, because they're probably going to go after him. Oh, my accuracy was 45. Why? They're not even in the woods. Oh, they are. My bad. <laughs> I lied. Okay, you go in the woods then and try and hit them with a bow. 42% chance. All right, that's about how I expected that to go. It's okay, Dimitri. I got your back. 68% chance. Booyah. Should I have held back? Mm, probably not. Dimitri might have died if you did. Alright, uh, so Jail's gonna start moving up and these guys are gonna start moving down, I believe, at this point. Oh no, they're waiting. Okay, well then let's both heal. I'm gonna heal as I lure these- actually, let me go here so that they don't get to just cower in the, uh, woods. Because that would be bad for making, allowing Dimitri to hit them. And, uh, let me just move Edelgard down here so no one even thinks about hitting her. I love how I just stole their stuff, too. <laughs> I mean, obviously it wasn't, uh, like, a super wacko clever move of mine, but I just- I just find it very funny that Balthus is just like, Alright! Well, here's what I need to do. Everyone, give me your stuff and then go hide. I'll take care of this. Jill, still not coming up to help us. Yo, cut through, will you? Uh, 84% chance to help hits. That's pretty decent. I mean, we're not gonna die even if they both go after one of us, so we'll be good. And I'll be able to take this one down. You never had a chance. Careful now. And I'll just use the art because dying on this would be the dumbest thing ever. And we're gonna be getting new weapons very soon. That is that. That is that. Now those are gonna start coming down. Why are there mercenaries in the village? Costas! Guess we'll have to deal with them too. Played by the late and great Brad Venable, who unfortunately died very recently. Well, I guess, I mean, pretty recently. In the past year or so. I obviously never knew him personally, but as I understand it, he was something of a legend. Be mindful. Be mindful. Alrighty. Um, so Jail's coming up to help us now, which is good because I like the help. And, but we should be able to take out most of this by ourselves. That was an unfortunate placement that I just had because now Costas is hiding in the woods. <laughs> Which is not how I want my bosses. Uh, okay. So Dimitri could probably take out this person, but then most likely Costas would try and go after him, which would be problematic. What's your attack speed? Five. Uh, to his three, so you would only get one hit of 20 minus his six. So, oh, so that's me. Seven, so 13. Would still not be great, but he'll survive because he's at full health. Let's have him go after this then. Get that bow XP. Who's next? Who's next? So they're probably maybe not going to both go after me. Who knows? Okay, so even if they both went after Dimitri... That would be 13 plus 9, because it would be the same, because I have plus 1 defense from here, so my defense and his are equal right now. Uh, 13 plus 9 is what? 22? He'll be fine, and if I heal up, I'll be fine. So I'll just heal up now, even though they probably won't both hit me, given that all the stuff. Oh, wait, what's his crit? Oh, his crit's 8, so if he crits, that'll be the worst thing that ever happened in my life. He still says he's going after me, so that's cool. Hey, you with the blank stare. I don't have a blank stare. My, my stare is purposeful. Uh, all right. <laughs> Sorry about that one. That was an unfortunate miss on your part. Right after you said the cool thing, too. Strength, dex, speed, luck! Forward. It is indeed another step forward. Ah, they're both going after me! But in the woods, they cannot hope to hit me. Alright, so let's see if I can take- Okay, he's going after him, so he'll probably- I think he can kill these, but he's not allowed to kill the boss. I'm hardly trying. I'm hardly trying. Nice one, Gerald. They totally bought it. Uh, okay, so if I hit you with this, uh, can Dimitri do six damage with a bow? He can, in fact. Dun, 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 uh, go out of the the actual encounter like it continues going on the map screen. Nice one, Dimitri. I, will get stronger yet. I totally believe you. Good job getting Dex too for that. Hey, another a nice axe. Well, he's out. Nope. Oh wow, just sprung to his feet. That's incredible. Oh no, I probably should have given her a weapon. Oh, she's got her dagger. <laughs> out of the way. Fire Emblem Three Houses. It was a good game, but now it's over. Oh wait, I'm alive. Ish. I could be construed as being alive in some senses. I'm not totally dead yet, but where the hell am I? Saving Edelgard? Alright, well, I was trying to get me killed too, so it's not all about you. Well, it's fine. Right? 
After all, it's fine. If you don't know the value of your own life, you're not going to protect it very well. And by, are you? by the value of my life, you mean not. your life. <laughs> well then, I guess it's up to me to guide you from now on, right? Well, I mean, if you had guided me earlier, I probably wouldn't have tripped and fell those times that I did as a child. But I'm also known as the beginning. Mm, I'll call you Sothis. The beginning is a very weird thing to call you. My name is Sothis. Well then, remembering. And I am also called so, first task of the morning. Beginning. But who once called me that? You said it very confidently a moment ago, and now you're very unsure. Sothis? I was not able to recall my name until just now. Is that so? And just like that, it came to me. How odd. It is indeed odd, but I mean, mine came to me in a floating Sothis. keyboard, so there are, there are weirder things. A child? A mere child who forgot her own name? Well, I thought you forgot your name. A child just saved your life. And what does that make you? I'm less than a child? Correct. You understand. Wow, you really seem to be <laughs> into so that. <laughs> to save just one young girl. Yet all is well, as I have stalled the flow of time for now. You would have died had I not intervened. And I suppose you want me to thank- oh, thank you. <laughs> I'm in your debt. <laughs> there now. Is gratitude so much to ask? No, I just add, gave it to you. That is very kind, but I, you also said that we were linked, so... However did I manage that? One wonders. What will happen when time resumes? When time begins again, the axe will tear into your flesh and you will surely meet your end. I don't know, flesh. It'll be like a bit of my, the flesh on my head and then I'll just have no head. <laughs> How rude of you to drag me into this. I'm sorry. Now what to do? Uh, keep time frozen until it's safe. Turn it back the highest time. I'll just stay here and wait to die. Keep time frozen until I'm safe. That is ridiculous. <laughs> oh, but it also doesn't make any sense, but I, which is why I wanted that. It was funny to say. I must turn back the hands of time. Oh, easy. Ah, okay. Here's this. What does it yes, say on the edge? It is ice creaming done. over the edge. You really are quite troublesome. Thank you. I cannot wind back time too far, but all is well. You are aware of what's to come, which means you can protect yourself this time. I don't know that it always you holds go. true. Yes. You who bears the flames within. Okay, you could say that a little less facetiously. Time to find the answers that you seek. F I will then. The goddess always. What did that say? Uh, it said the goddess always lives or lies or something on the top there. But then I completely skipped past it. Ah! Me just <laughs> squinting into the void before I. All right. I need you to not shove this person anymore. Yeah. Oh, I'm just gonna stand in front apparently. Who even knows what happened, but I just sent that man flying with my sword somehow. <laughs> hey, over here. I love that little, like, <sighs> she does after that. Hi, Claude. This is an awkward silence we have brewing here. So I guess Costas is just going to run away then. Did you just... Just smack that dude in the face? You know I did. The hey there, Alois. Seros are here. We'll cut you down for terrorizing our students. Said with a smile on his face. What a guy. Hey, the thieves are running away. Go after them. Alright, is it really necessary? I guess so. <laughs> They've been through a lot, though, is all I mean to say. Those thieves. Poor the thieves. Seem to be unharmed. And who's this? Uh, uh us. Why him? <laughs> Sorry, Gerald. Pat's gotta catch up with you at some point. MVP! Dimitri. Sweet. Well done on us for doing one mission. Captain Gerald, it is you. Goodness, it's been ages. At least Don't ten. You recognize me? Ages, Eloise, which I guess an age could be any amount of time. <laughs> well, that's how I always thought of myself anyway. That says literally what a squire is. It must have been twenty years ago that you went missing without a trace. I always knew you were still alive. Right? You have just never dies, this guy. I've been waiting for just him. <laughs> as loud as ever. And drop that captain nonsense. I'm not your captain anymore. Ah, it's just These a term of endearment. Just a wandering mercenary. One who has work to do. Uh, goodbye, old friend. Right. That was valiant. Goodbye, Captain. All right, bye, Alois. Right. <laughs> how this ends. I insist that you return to the monastery with me. Just to share a drink or something. Eric Mock Monastery. Uh, I suppose this was an effort. I guess, but I mean, you could still say no. <laughs> and how about you, kid? Are you the captain's child? So they tell me. He's a stranger to me. I'm a bandit. <laughs> that is correct. Is that so? Well, physical differences aside, your mannerisms do remind me of the captain. What, the fact that I never I'd ever blink? You to see the monastery too. You will join me, won't you? I'll do what I sure. That seems polite. 
<laughs> What's troubling you, Captain? You aren't about to run off again, are you? No, he made it quite clear that he thought this was inevitable. Knights of Saros. Ah, right, okay, fair enough. Knights of, Knights of Saros ask you to do something. They do seem rather skilled. Uh, alright. <laughs> That's a little narcissistic, but... I know Byleth, the girl from your dream and from three seconds ago, is still around. Okay, hell go. Whatever God tells me to do, I do. That's how I roll. <laughs> In this game, anyways. Many other RPGs, I'm killing God. Oh, You're thank you. An experienced mercenary. Oh, and gosh, father, stop. That would be Geralt, the Bladebreaker. You've heard of him. Captain of the Knights of Saros, oft praised as the strongest knight to ever live. Have I missed anything? Yeah, he's got a rockin' hairstyle, and he extended his life with weird blood rituals. All kinds of stuff. I didn't know he was a captain. How curious. I'd wager the explanation for that is fascinating indeed. No, he just never told me. Hey, <laughs> it's not that interesting. With us to the monastery, right? Sure. Of course you are. I'd love to bend your ear as we travel. I would love nothing so, more, Claude, I my dear. Mention that the three of us are students of the Officers Academy at Garrig Mock Monastery. And a little more than that, I hear. Exercises when those bandits attacked. I definitely got the worst of it. I can tell your hair is a mess, that my guy. Maybe because you ran off. Too true. <laughs> I was the first to make a strategic retreat. Everything well, then I know who I'm siding with now. I mean, Dimitri still, but. Me ruined everything because of them. Every single one of those bandits chased after us. Utterly ridiculous. So you would have preferred they fended uh, for themselves. <laughs> that's what you were thinking, Claude. And here I thought you were acting as a decoy for the sake of us all. His intentions were as clear as day. You will prove a lacking ruler if you cannot see the truth behind a person's words. By words, you mean when he ran away. You will prove a lacking ruler yourself if you look for deceit behind every word and fail to trust those whom you rely on. He's got a good point. Oh, joy. A royal debate <laughs> between their highnesses. I wonder how being completely predictable affects one's ability to wield power. Well, they're anime characters, so you gotta give them something. Distrust. In that I'd regard. Your little exchange smacks of naivete. The embodiment of Naive. distrust. <laughs> Tell me, are you actually incapable of keeping quiet, or is your lack of self-awareness a condition of some sort? It's probably both. In any case, forgive our digression. <laughs> I must speak with you. Thank you for peacekeeping there, Dimitri. The way you held your ground against the bandit's leader was captivating. Oh, stop. All situation. three of you now. <laughs> Showed me I still have much to learn. Nah, your just a bit about bows, that's all. Why I must ask you to consider lending your services to the Empire. To the Empire? You're trying to draft me? <laughs> I am no mere student. I am also the Adrestian Empire's... Halt, Edelgard. Please, allow me to finish my own proposition. My goodness, you're not also going to try and put me in an army as well, are you? Exceptional individuals like yourself. To do what? Do consider returning to the kingdom with me. Whoa, uh, there. You two sure are hasty. <laughs> trying to recruit someone you just met. Thanks, Claude. Tactless, really. Not not tacticless, but tactless. I was yes. Personally, planning to develop a deep and lasting friendship on our journey back to the monastery before begging for favors. Well, three hours should be enough to <laughs> make something like that. Are we not still going to the kingdom for that job of ours? <laughs> but it seems there's no time for niceties in this world. No. So, capable stranger, let's get right to it. Where does your allegiance lie? Nowhere. I'm a mercenary. It seems one's place of birth is quite significant to them. Yet they are so impressed by you that you may take your pick. Well, technically, my place of birth was right in the middle of all three, so I, I shouldn't be able to pick anyways. Um, uh, the Lesser Alliance. I'm obviously going to be joining Claude. Well, that's a win for the Alliance, so I suppose I'm obligated to be happy. Aw, you right, think having me on there is a the dub? Song. A big old it's fat massive dub? You're all so sweet. Looks like we'll have to pick this up another time. Okay. Sure thing. My, my. They are in such a hurry. You know... Each of the three is most unique. I was thinking the same thing myself. I mean, Dimitri, what is going on with the McDonald's hair? He seems quite sincere, but I sense darkness lurking beneath. Edelgard, she is a refined young woman, but I feel as though she is always evaluating me. That's because she is. <laughs> I mean, two seconds ago, she was like, you know, I think, I think you're good enough to be in my army. You know, one thing that always weirds me out about this game is when so the way their their faces go like they they stand there and blink and the blinks are at random intervals but every now and then they blink and then their eyes go off to the side where and it, it it just it always weirds me out when they do it especially if they do it while they're talking Claude his easy smile is striking but that smile doesn't reach his yes, eyes I thought the same You thought the same? Why didn't you say anything then? <laughs> it would have been nice if you thought he wasn't trustworthy and thought I sh you should tell me that. He might have stabbed me in the back when I was trying to save him just a minute ago. Alright, go to sleep in my brain then, and I'll just... I'll do the walking, I guess. 
someone has to. Part one. White clouds. Great tree moon. Three houses. Mission name a game after that. The icy winds of the Agma Mountains. Agma Mountains! Oh, that's so sweet. I always forget. Oh, sweet. That's sweet. That's so sweet. I always forget about that. Um, Agma's a mercenary in the first game. And he's probably in some of the other ones as well. There's a lot of cool callbacks in this game. How poetic. I didn't know you did poetry, Gerald. My gosh, my father is, is not just a knight, but a, 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 a bard as well. The continent of Foglin, said to be protected by a revered goddess, mm -hmm. has existed since time immemorial. With weird hair, Three can I tell you? Powers now that goddess. Land. Well, four In if you count the church. <laughs> a region long and five if you count the other ones that we don't know about yet. Old dynasty, the Adrestian Empire. Beyond its borders, to the frigid north, is the home of the Holy Kingdom of Fargus. Fargus, Fargus. <laughs> family and its knights. To the east, a league I also did very much enjoy the Verdant Wind route. It's very fun. Rules what is called the Lester Alliance. Just because Claude's just such such an endearing character. By a tempest of war and turmoil, Fodlin and these three mighty powers now exist in relative harmony. I appreciate that you added relative. <laughs> Just in case we weren't already, uh, like, sensing the rivalry between them. What are you chatting about up there, Gerald? Silently. This will be your first time at the monastery. No. <laughs> I'd be happy to show you around. It really is Fodlin in a nutshell. It's a bit of a melting pot, you might say. Like it or not, we'll be there soon enough. Hmm. You don't seem very happy. <laughs> you may be the under the not category of the like it or not. <sighs> That's the lock screen right there for my uh, um, laptop. Is this right here? Ah, so good. There it is. That there it is indeed. Monster. Can't wait to blow that up. She's thinking. <laughs> ah, but it is a thing of great majesty. Whatever your feelings on the Church of Fodlin, however negative they may be, and believe me, <laughs> they can be pretty negative. Not, not the Church of Foden, but my feelings towards the Church of Foden can be pretty negative. Is Hanneman teaching two students how to hold an orb? This is Manuela teaching students presumably just some more uh, Shakespeare or something. Are you are you trying to flirt with that student, Manuela? Not a good look. <laughs> you can only flirt with the other teachers. That's my rule. All right, no, no shade to Byla's design, but I've always found the, the stockings to be really cool looking, but also ridiculous. Like, they just, she just stands out like a sore thumb whenever there's a group shot. No one else has leggings like those in this, uh, in this game. Wow, I, we are doing an absolute death stare right now. Did the flow of time bring you here? Actually, it was a, a large man in a white suit of armor. With a funny mustache. But I mean, strictly speaking, time did flow while I got here, so yeah. It's been years since I've last set eyes on this place. To be forced to see her now, uh... Bring up some weird feelings? Or... You've been here before? I've never spoken of this to you before, but... Many years ago, I was a knight here. Wow, did you have any kids while you were there? <laughs> By chance? Archbishop, Lady Rhea. Mm-hmm. The Archbishop. As you know... The majority of folks in Fodlin are devout followers of the teachings of Seros. Well, if I knew, then you wouldn't need to say, would it? <laughs> yeah. ridiculously large religious organization is the Archbishop, Lady Rhea. Sometimes a religious organization is called a religion. <laughs> Thank you for your patience, Gerald. My name is Setic. I am an advisor. Right. Hello. Well met. It has been a long time, Gerald. I wonder... Was it the will of the goddess that we have another chance meeting like this? Could be. I mean, it could. It was also the will of the goddess that <laughs> let me not get my head cleaved Forgive in twain years, a minute ago. So she's probably trying to do a lot of stuff, isn't she, behind the scenes? Oh, I see. The miracle of fatherhood has blessed you. That is your child, is it not? Yeah. Yes. Funny story about <laughs> how that happened. After I left this place, I wish I could introduce you to the mother of my child. But I'm afraid we lost her to illness. Sorry, born many years after you left? Did you not leave 20 years ago? <laughs> if it was many years, then that makes me like 10. I see. My condolences. 
This is all formality, though. Surely you knew this. All I did was kill two people. It's, uh, my name is Byleth. A fine name indeed. Really? I always thought it was kind of weird. I thank you for saving those students of the officers. They had it under control. I was just there for moral support. Gerald, you already know what it is I wish to say, do you know? How could you possibly think that? Sorry, I've got cables stuck on my leg. Give me a second. You want me to rejoin the Knights of Seros, don't you? I won't say no. I won't say no, but I did run away last time, so that should give you an idea of how long I'm likely Your to stay this time. Stings. I had expected that Alois would have already asked this of you. And I'll tell you what I told him. <laughs> I must step away for now. But I expect they will desire a word with you soon. They? Please listen carefully to what they have Alois to say. and the Knights of Saros, you mean? Until tomorrow. Farewell. Okay, bye. How, how can you be sure that I won't see you again today? <sighs> I can't believe it. Force back into the Knights of Seros. Well, it, again, it didn't really seem like they were forcing you, but I, well, I see what you're saying. I'm sorry I dragged you into this. Looks like I'll be stuck here for a while. And I'm afraid your services are requested as well. And how did you glean that when they, we were both standing here the whole time? <laughs> I must work here. As a mercenary? Nothing like that. They want you to teach, by the sound of it. Well, good you thing I have no experience doing right that. Talking about the Officers Academy. I did. Well, they wouldn't the stop talking about it. <laughs> to be short of professor. Ah. Apparently, that damned Aloise went and recommended you to Lady Rhea. So. And what makes you say that? <laughs> <the> new professor. <laughs> My, how stern and handsome you are. Uh, no. <laughs> I love the little the laugh. Uh, for. no. <laughs> I'm not the one you're looking for. You can handle things from here. Good luck. I'm equally as stern and handsome yeah. as my father. Watch out for Lady Rhea. I don't know what she's thinking, making you a professor like this. She may be up to something. Stay on your. Guard. All right, cool. I don't know how exactly I'm supposed to watch out for her, but it's sure, I'll do head. that. So young. Competence nice. and age are not necessarily correlated, as you well Thank know. you, Professor Hanneman. I am Hanneman. A crest scholar and professor at the officer's academy. Good to meet you too. I if you bear a crest of your own. <laughs> Wouldn't you what like to know? To to I mean, speak? you would. I insist that you pay me a visit so we can delve into the subject. First. That's also quite a thing to ask on the third I'm sentence. Manuela. You meet someone though. I'm a professor, a physician, a songstress, and available. It's nice to. I'm meet sorry you. to disappoint you. I already have my eyes set on one of the students. <laughs> God. Uh, which of these is is I guess. You're a songstress because she looks more like a teacher, given that she's a teacher. You're a songstress? Of course. Before I came here, I belonged to a renowned opera company. Middlefronk, is it not called? Perhaps you've heard of me? The Middlefronk Opera Company wow. is beautiful, peerless. Spare our colleague the needless chatter. No, I want to hear more. It sounded really cool. Now, <laughs> How many? What songs did you sing? Can you do take on me? One of the academy's three houses. So they say. I expect you haven't yet been briefed on the nature of each. I get the gist. You really not know? Fine. I'll do you a favor and explain. Sure. The officers' academy is comprised of three houses of students, each of which is closely affiliated with its region of. <laughs> I can't see that possibly leading to any problems. <laughs> the Black Eagle House is for students from the. Let's segregate them by country. <laughs> Their house leader this year is Edelgard, the Imperial Princess, who is in line to be the next Empress. Yeah, she's quite something. The Blue Lion House is for students from the Holy Kingdom of Fargus. Mm -hmm. Their house leader this year is Prince Dimitri. He is to be the next King of Fargus. And he really needs a comb. Lastly, there is the Golden Deer House, which is for students of the Leicester Alliance. Hi. Their house leader is Claude, grandson to Duke Regan, the leader of the Alliance. And he does not need a comb. His hair is immaculate. To think that the next Emperor, King, and Sovereign Duke are all here. It certainly is a promising year for the Academy. Yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty shocking that they're all lined up like that. <laughs> I'll say. I just hope none of those little treasures cause any trouble. Well, about that. Hmm. Never mind for, about that. For now, just let's not I talk about that trouble that they may cause. The academy to get your bearings. And when you've a moment, that sounds fun. Please stop by my research laboratory. Sure. The old man has a point. Oh, and keep in mind that I've only notified the house leaders that you're our new professor. 
It's more fun that way. I guess it, it is. Just that seeing some random person uh, who may or may not be like an assassin wandering around is, is more fun. I, suggest you try spending I don't really look like a student, exactly. Some odd ducks I don't have the uniform lunch. or anything. But they're good kids. I'll say. I'm sure Lady Rhea will have more information for you tomorrow. But that should get you going. Good luck. You'll need it. What makes you say that? Are the kids going to be scary? Have no intention of changing your mind, Rhea? Appointing a stranger, a child. Uh, I'm 20, so. At our esteemed academy is. I have made my decision. So I guess that's a no. <laughs> I know worrying comes naturally to you. Oh. But there is truly no need. That stranger is Gerald's flesh and blood, after all. Despite having not not, not even true. remotely the same hair color How or anything. How trustworthy is this Gerald character? Is he not the man who went missing after the great fire 21 years ago? Yeah, but he said he wouldn't run away this time, so we should believe him. Here with us as well. I beg of you. Please consider whether this is an unnecessary risk. She's just like, thanks for two seconds. Right, considered, no it's not. <laughs> Let that be enough for you as well. Nah. More importantly, I have received a report from Shamir. I am increasingly concerned about a matter regarding our suspicious individual. And which suspicious if individual is that, pray tell? There could be so many. <laughs> Especially if they are frequenting Garrick Mock. That could yes, refer to so many people. Of great importance as well. I shall continue my investigation. Very well. Rhea. For now, I will have faith that you are placing your trust with the utmost care. When does she not? I pray that nothing occurs to shake that confidence. Okay, Sedith pulling rank a little here. I gotta admire the guts, though. Sedith is one of my favorite characters. He he definitely grew on me quite a bit from the from, from when I started because he started starts out feeling seeming like he's just gonna be like the. They, they just needed something to, to stir opposition because everyone else is all like, Whoa, you're so cool! You can fight good! And then so they needed someone to be like the, the devil's advocate if, advocate, if you will, um, in that respect. But he's actually, he's, he's got more to him than that. And he's also he's also just like a cool dude. <laughs> and he's also like a giga badass. When I played Silver Snow, and he, I, I made him a sniper as well. <laughs> and he was, it was so cool. I think, in my opinion, he has some of the best one-liners, like crit lines and stuff. In the game. Wowee! We get to explore a whole new world of school and, and cute girls! It's incredible! Gosh! That's what this music sounds like to me right now. <laughs> but but it also is very fitting. Lawrence, Hilda, Raphael, everyone's favorite person, Lysithia, Marianne, Leone. It's too bad I won't get to recruit any of you this time because I've decided that I will not be recruiting people in this run. It'll be a solely a, a Blue Lions character's run. Uh, Ferdy, Linny. I was thinking of, of maybe romancing um, Marianne, Lysithia, or Linny this run around before I remembered that Dudu is in this <laughs> is in this run through. So I have very few opportunities. Ash and Annie. Annie is best girl. Top tier. No one better. Ingrid and Sylvain and Mercy and Dudu. Dudu. Sorry. Dudu. Chef Dedelkins, or whatever it is Flane calls him. Then Felix and the Boar. The gang is all here, I tells ya. And now I am too. Hello. I'm here. Wait, I thought you said we weren't going to see each other until tomorrow. Has it already been a day? My gosh. Howdy. Of course. of course. My first task. I assume you are. <laughs> I thought my first task was saving the students from the bandits. Correct. Yes. Uh, they did inform you of me of that. But no, I didn't tell it to my face. But you should also take a look around the academy and acquaint yourself with your new. Home. Sure thing. That is your first task here at the monastery. Please let me know if you accept it. I will. Once you have finished. Come and I do. Alright, that should be easy enough. May I ask a favor? You absolutely might. May! You should speak with every student you can. This might be your only chance to see what they're really like before you become a professor. <laughs> well, that's not ominous in the slightest. Thanks. Oh, hi there, Alois. What's going on? Ha! I imagine you were a bit surprised that I recommended you as a professor. I was extremely surprised. You somehow did it without leaving the room. Frankly, we had someone else in mind for the role, but... They ran off during our dust up with the bandits. I thought you said there were only students out there. Were they? You were trying to elect a student? To someone who's abandoned them once before. Huh? Oh, they, they were. They were the leader of them, which is the why they got scattered. I see. That at least was admirable. Mm -hmm. now, nice. Thanks for saying rounds. something nice. <laughs> Go around the monastery and see that you greet everyone. I will. 
Don't worry, I'm I'm very good at doing what I'm told. Except when it comes to making my characters classes that make anything, any semblance of sense. <laughs> ah, so we're not allowed to actually walk around and explore the, the latter bit of this right now. We just have to, to have fast travel to the first floor. You don't get very much of the monastery until like the later parts, is what my recollection. Although, the thing is, in my more recent runs, I've mostly been skipping through all the stuff in the first like, few acts, because it's the same regardless of what house you pick. So I, there's a lot of the stuff that is not fresh in my mind, because it was like two years ago that the game came out and I played it. I think it was December of 2019 that they updated it and patched in the harder difficulty, so I had beaten... I'd done my first run around or before then, is the thing. Hey there, Edelgard! So, you've accepted a teaching position. I did. Pity. I was hoping you would lend your strength to the Empire. My apologies, they did not give me any I kind of choice. I introduced myself, did I? My name is Edelgard von Bresen. And I am Byleth Eisner. I do not have a middle name. Or any Vons for a house. <laughs> of the Adrestian Empire. Nice. I wonder if you'll be tasked with leading the Black Eagles. I, I actually get the choice. To meet everyone. Would you like to know more about any of the Black Eagles? I actually would, and I would like to hear what you have to say about them. But I also want to keep this episode under, like, three hours. Hi there, Gatekeeper. Greetings. You must be the new professor. That's me. What a pleasure. As for me, my job is to stand here at this glorious entrance. Wait, I thought you said that only the house leaders were notified. I guess some of the other people Make have to. Smile, you know? Well, you sure uh, do a good job of that, now that you're in the mobile game and all. To vigilantly guard this entrance with my very life. No levity whatsoever. As of now, nothing to report. Yeah, very well. I will e respond in kind with absolutely zero levity. Your hat looks very normal and not funny at all. Okay, very well. Uh, I suppose, can we go... Are we allowed to leave uh, through this hall? Linhard always seems laid back. Lawrence is a true noble. Ash is the best. Totally unpretentious. Right? Yeah, right? I'm, I agree with this one. <laughs> I mean, Linhard does always seem laid back, and I guess Lawrence is a true noble. But this one has, is making the most sense. You two... Follow this student. This student knows what's up. Hi. I bet I could take Caspar in a fight. Bernadetta's always in her room. She she is that. You must be a new student. I love how this guy right beside hearing the, the gatekeeper tell me that I'm the new professor is like, Ah, I see. You're a student. Who are you? <laughs> That's like that meme. <laughs> Wait a minute. Who are you? <laughs> Oopsies. How do I get Dimitri to be my friend? It's easy. He's a real nice guy. Just go up and say hi. I mean... Make sure he doesn't have his eye patch, because he's in a mood when he does. The Officer's Academy. Oh, how marvelous. There's Lenny and Caspar. Hanging around, just two dudes being bros. Hey there, Claude Khalid. Well, well, scored a teaching gig here, did you? Something like that. You, they all say it like I, I managed to, but I, it was hoisted upon me. I guess that means I'd better introduce myself properly. I'm Claude Bonnier. Well met, Violet Eisner. I don't have a house. I'm from the ruling house of the Leicester Alliance, but don't worry too much about all that madness. All right. I'm guessing you don't know which. That makes it easy for me. I hate worrying about that madness. I bet you'd like ours. We're not as difficult as the other two. Well, that's very nice, but Golden I actually already chose inside. Don't worry, I'll be doing your run next. When I do, when I do the all assassins yeah. run, and also I would like to know more about all of them, but again, time. I say it's to, to keep it short on time, but it really is to keep short on me editing time because I'm a lazy bastard. This is the Golden Deer homeroom. The Golden Deer house is for students of the Lester Alliance. Our house leader is heir to the Alliance's leadership, House Regan. Mm. We have plenty of other prominent nobles as well, like Hilda and Lawrence, and that's it. <laughs> Isn't that it? Are, we, are there any other other nobles? Oh no, Marion's a uh, noble, and so is Lysithia. Actually, I lied. There are a lot of nobles here. Ah, you must You're that mercenary. mercenary. <laughs> Perhaps you'd like to join me for a cup of tea sometime. Perhaps. My name is Lawrence Hellman Gloucester. You Lawrence Hellman Gloucester. <laughs> I love how he always says his middle name with it. Eggy and, and Lysithia. You're a skilled mercenary who saved Claude, are you? Saved is pretty strong. He was doing all right. It's such an honor to meet you. No, Ignatz, it's an honor to meet Ignatz someone of a painter of your caliber. My parents are Alliance merchants. And nice I to meet you. Lysithia von Ordelia. Please do not forget it. Well, I will never forget your name, but I will forget everyone else's name, so I hope you understand what you've done to everyone else, if I'm too busy remembering yours. Marianne and Hilda. Hey, are you that mercenary? Everyone's been talking about you. Really? Everyone? Even to do? I'm Hilda Valentine Goneril, and her name is... M Marianne Van Edmund. Nice to meet you both. Are you joining the Knights of Saros or something? I wish. Well, no, I'm a I'm teaching. It's gonna be way more boring than that. We should have, like, a tally of how many people have, like, tried to flirt with us so far, because what Hilda just said was, like, 
No, okay, I look forward to seeing, seeing more of you. I guess that's just polite. But like, okay, so there was, Manuela definitely was was a little, and, and Lawrence was like, we could have tea, but I think he was just being like, oh yeah, stuffy, noble stuff. Are you someone's guest? The dining hall's that way, if that's what you're looking for. Oh, thanks. No, Raphael, that's Captain Gerald's kid. Oh, of course Leone knows that. <laughs> I'm Pinelli, Captain Gerald's first and greatest apprentice. I'm sure he's told you about me. He Where's definitely has, you? probably. Uh, what was it? Curse. What was your name? Lonnie? Who are you again? I'm uh, Raphael's kid. Wait, no, G Gerald's kid. I don't know who I am. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Raphael's kid. I said to Raphael's face. I have some business with the Blue Lions. This classroom belongs to the Blue Lion House. Our house leader is Prince, Prince Dimitri. Dimitri. All of us here hail from the Holy Kingdom of Fargus. I like it up there. It's chilly. Everyone gets nice, fluffy clothes. Hey there, Sylvain. Well, well, it must be my lucky day today, being approached by such a beauty. Well done. That's like two or three now. <laughs> then it's time to flirt I'm with us. Sylvain Jose Gatier. Throw it up Feel on the free screen. To say hi whenever you like. Oh, I will. Believe me, I will. You are going to be our party. I think you were going to be. I, I have it written down on my phone who, where I'm going to class everyone as, but I think you're going to be our healer or among them. Hey, did you do? Hi there. You must and Ash. Be the one Sorry, I didn't about. forget you, Ash. I'm Ash. Great to meet you. Nice to meet you too, buddy. This here is to do. He serves Prince Dimitri. Hi there. I have heard that you rescued His Highness. Words cannot express my gratitude. Don't worry about it. He could handle himself. Require my strength. Please know that I will hasten to repay this debt. Oh, believe me, I will, because I'm making you an assassin this run. <laughs> Which is partially just for the novelty of, I'm gonna have to make him a thief first, I'm going to make him a thief first. And I just find it very funny, the thought of, to do stealing anything. Can you imagine that? Like, I'm just like, <laughs> the thought of to do being a thief is just so funny to me, because it's like, literally just imagine him walking up to someone and being like, I need to empty the contents of your pockets, please. <laughs> this will take roughly a minute and 30 seconds. And <laughs> just like, then be like, what, why are you, what are you doing? What are you talking about? And he's just like, I am sorry. This is not something that is avoidable. Perhaps we could discuss it over tea later, but unfortunately for now. <laughs> Felix Ingrid, how's it going? All about what you did from Prince Dimitri. As a citizen of Fargus, I thank you. No problem. He also said you're quite skilled. And he doesn't just say things like that. Gosh, I'm sure he does. I look forward to sparring with you. And beating you. Well, that won't be hard. I only know how to use swords and like with like a D rank. Oh, he does, yeah. You may call me Ingrid. Hello, Ingrid. It's a pleasure to make your acquaintance. Ditto. Good to see everyone so f so friendly. <laughs> this person, Felix, Ingrid, and Sylvain are old friends. I'm glad you're just muttering that to yourself in a corner and just like trying to figure out what it all means. Mercy and Eddie. Ah, oh, the wholesome couple. Not familiar at all? Do you work here at the monastery? I do now. Oh, mercy. Do you think this is that mercenary people have been talking about? Now Maybe. That I think about it. That does sound like something Dimitri may have It said. sounds like something he might have said, potentially, maybe. Uh, I'm not sure. I don't know why I keep saying potentially. Potentially. I suppose you'll be oh, because I'm, I'm, I'm mixing that with perhaps. That? That's because I'm stupid. <laughs> well, it's a oh, I am rolling. No, not exactly. My name is Mercedes, and this is my best friend. I'm Annette. It's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you both. Hopefully I don't get any of you killed soon. Hey there. This is the classroom of the Black Eagle House, which is for students from the Adrestian Empire. Our house I see. Is Do they all have that hair? <laughs> there are many other nobles among our ranks as well. You and Huber both have that. That that is that is that like some kind of uh, Adrestian fashion? That that weird, the 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 goth like, coming over the eyes thing. <laughs> I can't really do it with mine. It just makes a, like a little <laughs> curl. Hello there, Owl. What are you doing up there? Oh my gosh, what are you, what is, are your eyes like? Okay, no, it has normal eyes. I thought its eyes were like glowing red for a second. Hubert's so cute. I love broody boys. Ferdinand's smile makes me melt. Well, between the two, I would, I think I would say Ferdinand. Hubert is not cute. Look, I'm sorry. What, okay, whatever your feelings are on his attractiveness, this man is not cute. <laughs> He's like, at worst, like devilishly handsome. And I do mean at worst. Cute. Well, maybe our definitions just do not align. Hey there, Ferdy and Bernie. I'm sorry. Bernadetta, this is no stranger. Sure it is. You don't know my name. Leader owes this person a great debt. Is that not right? Well, that's I true, but it doesn't mean I should just burst in. Legitimate son of the Iyer family, the Empire's foremost house. Sorry, what was it? What was your name again? I am Ferdinand von Iyer. That was what? I am Ferdinand von Iyer. One more time. I am Ferdinand von Iyer. Got it. Okay. Are you going to join our class? I look forward to getting better acquainted with you. I will not be joining your class or really any class, strictly speaking. Hi there, Dorothea. Well, now you don't have a familiar face. No. What brings you here? My face is just kind of blank all the time, so I guess that's not familiar. Most people don't have that. My name is Dorothea, 
Before I joined the Academy, I was a member of an opera company in the Empire. Hmm. You should hear me sing sometime. I sure would. Should. Middle Frank, was it? <laughs> the, uh... Same one as the other teacher. I guess there's only one opera company. I will look forward to hearing you sing at some point in the future. Is it true that you saved Edelgard? It is. That's incredible. Aw, oh, not super incredible. The name's Caspar, by the way. Pleased to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Lenhard, goodbye. Lenhard, goodbye. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> How'd you get into the academy with those manners? Because he's a noble, so, and because he can are fight you a, a bit. Here too? Maybe we'll be in the same class. It would be exciting if it were true. Hi there, Hubert and Petra. I am Hubert. A humble servant of Lady Edelgard. I nice to meet you. To the aid of her highness. Yeah, I did sh throw her in a corner there, so you might not be happy about that. This is Petra. Hi, Petra. She has come all Apparently, she can't introduce herself. To study in the Empire. Back on her archipelago, she is actually a princess. In well, wait a wait a wait a to undercut it. Heir to the throne. Hello, I am called Petra. Hmm. I am pleased to be meeting with. Uh, no. Uh. I am pleased to have met you. And right back at you, partner. Petra has such a dope hairstyle too. Like I mean, of all the of all the design. Th oh man, she's really giving me the side eye. But like, look at that hair and like the way it's like it's a ponytail, but it's like a top, like really tight one that comes down over the shoulder too, and then it's also braided. It just looks so badass. Hey. Hey. All right, which house leader did I speak to? Oh, my boy, Dimitri. Sorry. Please accept my apologies for the other day. No problem. You came to our. You aid. helped me a great I deal. Even the courtesy to properly introduce myself. No, it was a stressful situation. If you had introduced yourself, we probably would have died. Kingdom of Fargus. Hello, Mr. Blyford. The Academy. I am simply a student. That's not what the others think. To become a professor here. Yes. News. I still have much to learn, but I'm confident I could benefit greatly from your guidance. Aww. Learning always goes both ways, my friend. I hear you're investigating the different houses here. Did any of the blue lions catch your attention? Well, I'm actually curious what you have to say about to do. <laughs> Just because I forget. Was born in Dusker and has been loyally working in my service for the past four years. Four years, my gosh. Taciturn, but once you get to know him, you'll see he's a kind and good-natured young man. I can already see. All right, great, cool. Isn't he 18? I appreciate your effort. No problem, Rhea. So four years. He joined Demetrio when he was uh 14. Jeez. I suppose I should return to Rhea. I'll do that right now. How are you enjoying your time at the academy thus far? Yeah, Mart well. Our halls brimming with the vitality. Talk to a, lots well of people. Most of them very well intentioned. Yes. I suppose it is time for you to take charge of one of our three houses of students. Yeah, well, don't sound too excited, I man. I note that I am personally against entrusting someone as lacking in trackable history as yourself with such a task. Well, I appreciate your candidity. It is as the Archbishop desires. Candidness. The Black Eagles, the Blue Lions, and the Golden Deer. Yes, lots of animals with colors associated with them. I hope you've made it a point to get to know each of them. In a sense. If you are new here, we have decided to allow you first pick. Thank you. Manuela and I will take charge of the remaining two houses. Oh, great. Which house will I choose? I think, you know, it's Blue Lions. And we'll be getting right on it with them next time on Fireman Three Houses. Because I'm all in time for an episode that I actually care to edit. Ah, I'm so excited to get back into playing this game. <laughs> I've been, like, away for so long and now it's, like, fulfilling my, 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 like, little... It's like scratching an itch. I find the strategy in this game very satisfying, even though I know a lot of people would scoff at that because this one is, like, too easy or whatever. And the class system isn't as interesting or whatever, whatever. Complain, fine, fine. We can all... No one can enjoy things, I understand. Well, I guess this is a bit of a trite question, but I may as well ask it since we're here. What house did you pick first? Or if you've never played this game, what house would you pick if you were gunning for gunning gunning for a play-in of this game here? And the next video will be playing more Tales of Symphonia, I believe. We have to go back to Palma Costa to question Dor on a few things. Well, that's that. Prologue complete. Can't wait to go back into more Five and Three Houses with you later. But for now, Admiral's gonna be out of here. Thank you so much for coming around. Hopefully, I will see you around. Peace. Oh, it does. Damn. Faster than with the sword this way. Oh, okay. hello from getting up real fast, you and throwing these at me. Arrow, arrow, arrow. We get arrows real fast and easy, so I may as well do it this way. Because I can shoot arrows real fast. Probably faster than I can swing the sword.